Hello, lovely ladies. I am so excited to speak with you about the seven ways of a deeply feminine woman. And this is just my take on it, but last video we were speaking about masculinity and how some of you have said, you know, I keep getting told like I'm too in my masculine, but what does that really mean? And this video is all about what it means to be deeply in your feminine. Now this is from my own experience and from all the women that I've worked with, hundreds of women who have reclaimed their feminine and used it to help them find lasting love, but more importantly, to help them find a deeper connection with themselves and just the yumminess and juiciness of life. So the first way of a deeply feminine woman is the way of pleasure. And this goes counterintuitive to everything that we've been told as a woman. We've been told to put others' needs first. We've been told to work hard and stay quiet. We've been told to just put our head down and if we do a good enough job, then everything will just work out. And most of us are old enough to know that that's not always the case. So what would happen if you actually lived your life on the principle of pleasure? This is one of my key values and it was such a major shift when I started prioritizing pleasure over performance. This means doing whatever feels good in the moment. And I trust that my spirit, my body, my heart will guide me into the right course of action based on following my pleasure and knowing that my pleasure would never detract or take away from someone else's pleasure or put someone in a place that was vulnerable or didn't feel good. So I deeply, deeply value pleasure as the number one way of a deeply feminine woman. The second value or the second way of a deeply feminine woman is actually amusement. So there's so many things in life that we could get upset about. There's so many things that go wrong or that don't feel good. And this is when you're following your pleasure, but maybe something happens you didn't expect. Instead of getting super serious and frustrated about it, what if you laughed? What if you found the amusement in every moment? And there's a lot of actually archetypes and little goddesses that you'd read about in traditions who carry this gift of amusement and carry this gift of laughter. One of them is Hecate, and she just lifts her skirt when she's down in Hades with Persephone or trying to find Persephone and down there with Demeter, and that's an old Greek tale. But the point is that when you can laugh at your circumstances, everything becomes lighter. So when you find yourself in those moments of not feeling in your pleasure, find a reason to laugh. It feels freaking awesome. The second way of a deeply feminine woman is a way of creativity. Now, any single mom knows this down pat because you've had to create the most insane schedule, the most insane life to take care of yourself and your kids. And so I have so much compassion for you. But almost every woman that I meet, every woman that I meet has creativity. Now, she might not be expressing it in the deepest way, but we are inherently creative. My teacher, James, always says, we create as women without effort. We are able to make a baby just by receiving something. We don't actually have to do anything or effort anything. And so a way of the deeply feminine woman is to use creativity and to use her ability to create as an opportunity to make her life just like art. The fourth way of a deeply feminine woman is through desire. And desire means always being attuned to what you want. And this also goes against the grain of what we're often taught as women. We're taught to not have wants and needs, to put everyone else's desires ahead of ours, but that leaves us burnt out, stressed, and lonely. So what are your desires? Could you make a list of your desires? Everything from the super small, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, <laughs> I don't know why that came to me, all the way to the super big, like a villa in Italy. Whatever it is that makes your body tingle, that brings your soul alive, and that helps you feel connected to something bigger than yourself is that key principle of desire and another way of a deeply feminine woman. The next way of a deeply feminine woman, I think we're on number five, is emotion. Harnessing the power of emotion, which is just energy in motion. If we're completely cut off from our emotions, we're cut off from so much of our power in life. So the emotion is able to move through us in the deepest, most exquisite way. And now if you're sensitive, like most women are, and I'm deeply sensitive, your emotions might feel overwhelming. They might feel like they almost derail you. All of a sudden you feel this burst of anger, or all of a sudden you feel this deep sadness. That is a true gift. That means you're being in the moment with the energy flowing through you. As long as you're not taking on the energy of other people and the emotion of other people, which we can talk about at another time. So being in tune with your emotions is a way of a deeply feminine woman to be able to let that amount of life flow through her in the most touching and exquisite way. Now the sixth tenant or uh, sixth way of a deeply feminine woman is actually change. 
So just like our emotions are always changing, just like Mama Earth is always changing her wind patterns and her storms and there's chaos, and just like the ocean is sometimes calm and sometimes chaotic, we wanna harness the power and we do harness the power of our change cycle, whether that's our menstrual cycle, whether that's the you know waxing and waning of the moon and we feel deeply connected to the moon, anything that's life, death, and rebirth. And when I think about this aspect or this way of a deeply feminine woman, I think about the suffragists. I think about Harriet Tubman. I think about women who made a change, you know, anyone who's gone through the world and had to make some waves and harness her own power and her own feminine power. She was one with the cycle of change. She was part of that change and oftentimes bringing that change. So that sixth way of a deeply feminine woman is to be with the change and to be an agent of the change instead of feeling like you need to control all the changes in your body and your life or in society. And the last way of a deeply feminine woman is through sensual embodiment. This means not walking around like a robot. This means staying connected deeply to your curves, to your lips, to your hair, to your eyes, to everything about your body. The good things, the things you're labeling as good, and the things that you might not see in that light, they are all beautiful. We so often are nitpicking at the way we look. And what if we just took that away and instead celebrated our body for all of her wonderful wisdom, intuition, and the things that she does for us, the way that she connects us to the touch of someone's hand, the, to the, the feel of a hot coffee mug, to the smell of delicious, delicious, you know, hot chocolate. All of our five senses are perfectly designed to bring us into our body, to bring us into the present moment, and to aid in our celebration of what it means to just be deeply, deeply human. So just to recap, the seven ways of the deeply feminine woman are number one, pleasure. Number two, amusement. Number three, creativity. Number four, desire. Number five, emotion. Number six, change. And number seven, sensual embodiment. So you can always come back to these seven principles and when you bring them and weave them all together, it is dynamite and powerful. So next time that you're about to go on a date, next time that you wanna slip into more of your feminine energy after you've closed a deal or done a great sale or just spent time with your kids all day, practice one of these principles and see how you move through the world in a different way and see how the world responds. So this is Violet Lang with The Pleasure Path. I am deeply devoted to pleasure as a path on its own, but also because it brings you such exquisite, lasting love. And if you're curious about what that might look like, if you're wanting more love in your life, then I would love to speak with you. You can get some time on my calendar for free. It's a breakthrough session where you'll break through your old patterns that might be keeping you from lasting love. And you can access that by going to the pleasure path dot today forward slash apply. So www.thepleasurepath dot today forward slash apply. I'm so looking forward to connecting with you and keep things in your pleasure, keep things in your feminine and have some fun. <laughs> All right. Much love. Bye.